In today's video, we're going to talk about the spot price of silver not moving very much. However, it was a red day today, which brought the spot price below the $25 mark, which could be pretty solid opportunity. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver creeping down to the $24 range. And I also wanted to talk about what appears to be somewhat of a stock market tech sell-off. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver because over the last couple of weeks, silver has been relatively stagnant. It hasn't really moved too far away from the $26 range. And I said earlier in the week or over the weekend that this upcoming week, I expected to be somewhat of a flat line. I said that I don't think silver is going to be moving very much at all. I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty boring week. I don't think a whole lot of activity or mobility or really anything at all is going to be taking place. Wouldn't surprise me if it went up by a dollar or two. Wouldn't surprise me if it went down a dollar or two. Dollar or two, it's not a whole lot of movement in my opinion. And I ended up being right about that, but the spot price has been in the red. It's been slowly but surely but subtly, discreetly, barely moving, but going in the red all week long. We're going to get into that. And before we even fully get into the precious metals, I also want to talk a little bit about the stock market because as everyone knows, I like to pay attention to all of the markets. And I believe that by paying attention to the stock market, the real estate market, the this market, the that market, you can stay one step ahead of the curve even if you're not affiliated with or involved in those markets. I think it's really important to pay attention to everything going on. So this week, very similar to the precious metal market, not a whole lot of movement. It's been somewhat of a flat line, although the stock market is a little bit more sporadic, a little bit more volatile than the silver and the gold, especially when you have an entire portfolio. It's up right now, it's down within 30 minutes, it's back up tomorrow and the next day it's all over the place. And I noticed that it was a relatively boring week in the stock market as well, but it would appear that over the last couple of weeks, and it was highlighted this week to me especially, looks like a little bit of a tech sell-off. Now I'm gonna put on screen a couple of screenshots. We have Facebook in the red, we have Twitter in the red, we have Netflix in the red, we have Zoom in the red, we have Amazon in the red, and these are just a couple of quick examples that I like to pay attention to, that I like to focus on, that give me a little bit of a hint of what's going on within that realm. And then as for some other tech stocks that I am personally a big fan of, such as Apple and Tesla, they are in the red as well. And I know Tesla isn't necessarily a tech stock, but we like to refer to it as tech on wheels, if that makes sense. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is because with everything going on in the world right now, it's kind of getting to the point where we can almost say we're getting back on track, not just yet, but hopefully we're moving in that direction. And if you ask me, it's actually looking pretty good. I'm, I'm optimistic. I think we might be getting back on track a little bit sooner than expected. At least I hope. I have no idea. But what's funny about this quote-unquote tech sell-off is I believe the reason behind it is people are also under the impression that we're in the process of getting back on track, things are going to be opening back up, so it wouldn't surprise me at all. Since we've seen the last 365 days of pretty much nothing but growth in the tech sectors, Amazon went crazy, Tesla went crazy, Apple went crazy, all those companies, they went way, way up when all of the other company or a lot of the other companies essentially plummeted and did horribly last year in 2020 the tech stocks did amazing some of them had the best year of their life so it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of people are selling off and cashing out some of those tech stock gains and moving that cash into recovery stocks such as Airlines, cruise lines, amusement parks, movie theaters, stuff like that. That wouldn't surprise me at all. 
But now moving away from the stock market altogether, no more tech stocks, no more recovery stocks, no more this, that, up, down, red, green, dead, doesn't matter. I want to talk about the silver and the gold. Now the spot price of silver, as I'm recording the video, is $24.89. So it's barely under $25 an ounce according to the spot price. We're not talking about the premiums, but for the first time this entire week, spot price of silver actually did drip right below the $25 mark, which wasn't all that surprising, but it's definitely good news for me because I was going to be paying my local coin shop a visit this weekend anyway. Now on screen right here, I have well, a decent selection, I guess you can say. We got some 90% up top, some quarters, dimes, half dollars over there. We have several Canadian maple leafs. Those were yesterday's video for those of you who didn't see it. I'm not going to get into it because you can just watch that video, but it was about milk spots and tarnished pieces of silver. See that right there? That milk spot in the upper left? That's what yesterday's video was about. And in yesterday's video, I talked about how I have a 10 ounce sunshine bar that I took out of the plastic when I got it in late 2018. And it has slowly but surely started to change colors, started to tone. Which, if you ask me, I think it gives it character. I love the way toned and tarnished silver looks. I think it looks really nice. And I didn't even notice that it was starting to tone for the first couple of weeks. People were pointing it out, but I saw it every day. I was like, I don't know. I'm not really noticing a difference. But if you put it side by side with another 10-ounce bar, one that's still in the plastic, you can actually really tell the difference. I don't know if the camera's going to be doing it justice, but I just wanted to point that out because... I mentioned it in yesterday's video, and here we are with that same bar that I was talking about on screen today. I also have the Aztec calendar, the Kraken. Also have some Queen's Beasts over here. Variety of different coins, rounds and bars and whatnot. I also wanted to briefly talk about gold because I will also be ordering myself a new gold coin in celebration of this channel hitting 15,000 subscribers. It'll be my 15,000 subscriber trophy. By the way, more on that later in the video. But spot price of gold as I'm recording the video is $1,731.90. That's as I'm recording the video, not as I'm editing it, not as I'm posting it. It's about to be Friday evening, so we're going to be locked in place over the weekend anyway. But whenever you're watching this video, I'd appreciate it if you can head on down to the comments. Let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is of silver and or gold. I'm always curious. But now moving away from that, I will be getting myself a nice little gold coin to celebrate the 15,000 subscriber milestone. And speaking of the 15,000 subscriber milestone, two or three days back, I posted a video titled something along the lines of what if you put $15,000 into silver 15 years ago? Very hypothetical. That's how the video went. Arbitrary numbers, arbitrary time frame, just for fun. But the reason I went with the number 15 was because this channel just hit 15,000 subscribers. And if you watch that video until the end, you will know that I'm doing a giveaway to celebrate 15,000 subscribers. And all of the giveaway details were right there in that video. The only way in the world you would have known about it is if you actually watched the video all the way through. That's how I always do my giveaways. So the truest supporters of the channel are the ones who end up knowing about the giveaways. So the rules were pretty simple. All you had to do was like the video to give it a thumbs up. You could do the same with this video, by the way. I'd appreciate it. Two, subscribe to the channel and also to my second channel. And three... Leave a comment just saying something about silver. But at the end of your comment, you had to include both your t-shirt size and the state or country you live in. Reason for that is because I'm giving away DYDSS t-shirts. Had to know t-shirt size and I had to know where it's going. Some people commented and they either included only their t-shirt size or only where they live, but not both. Unfortunately, fair is fair and rules are rules. So, sorry, but the people who followed the rules exactly 
were added to the list, and I have the list right here on my phone. Let me just pull it up. I have this website where a random name will be drawn for me. Here, let me raise the brightness. A random name will be drawn for me. Fair is fair. I'm not picking the name. I'm not picking the winner. This website will do it for me. So we got 50 people on here. We got Silver Stack and Mama. We got Dal G, Derek, Debonair, Dylan, Silver Lumberjack, Joseph, YY4U, Robert, Scrapper Stacker, HTH, Tab B, Kettle Black, ALGO, Silver Crawler, ED, High 95, George, Laura, Dan, 513, Steven, Cigar Sarge, Got Boost, Julia, Marvin, Carl, Silver Sponge, Adonis, Silver Coast Stacker, Clinton, Jason, Natman, Dee Dee, Cofield, Side-Eyed, and Bushy-Tailed, Off the Beaten Path, Matthew, Philip, Alan, Rhonda, Ken, Ivan, Jeremy, Kimberly, Opal Hummingbird, Palestinian Gypsies, Brian C., John, M, Lon, Butler Prep, or Butler Pep, rather, Lee, I2 Mass, and The Man. That is everyone on the list. 50 people, I believe. So what I'm going to be doing is clicking this green button right here. Pick a random name, and it will pick the winner for me. We're going to count to three, and we're going to hit the green button, and we're going to find out who is going to be the winner of the 15,000 subscriber giveaway. Three, two, one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The winner is Joseph J. Joseph. Congratulations, Joseph. You won the giveaway. Awesome to know that you won. As I said in the video, you can pick any t-shirt in the DYDSS store. We'll get in contact and I will have your prize sent to you ASAP. Now to the other 49 of you who did not win, do not worry because if you watch the video that I posted on my backup channel earlier this week as well, you will know that that channel just hit 2,000 subscribers, which by the way, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. But since we hit two milestones at the same time, I said in that video that there will be two winners. So, Joseph, you are not the only winner. And in the video, I said there will be two winners, which means I'm going to hit this green button again. And to clarify, let me just say one more time, there will be two winners. So if somehow, some way, it ends up on Joseph again, sorry, Joseph, you don't win two. You only win one. Here we go. Who's the second winner? Let's see, let's see, let's see. The winner is Kimberly H. Congratulations, Kimberly. You won a prize as well. We will get in contact. Pick any t-shirt in the DYDSS store, and I will have it sent to you AS. AP. Joseph, I know how to contact you. Kimberly, I do not. So Kimberly, if you have an Instagram or a Twitter, you're more than welcome to send me a message at MikeyDYDSS on both sites. If you don't have an Instagram or Twitter, just leave a comment on this video and we'll figure something out via email or something like that. But congratulations to the two winners. Everybody who didn't win, Better luck next time. I do giveaways as often as I can. And I always include them at the end of my videos. Again, so that the truest supporters of the channel are the only ones to know about it. I don't put videos out, put giveaway in the title and all over the thumbnail. I don't do that because I don't want to attract attention from people who are just trying to win something for free. I like to include it at the end of the video so that people who are naturally watching my videos anyway just happen to stumble upon it, and I like the way things are going. So I do plan on doing more giveaways in the future, but these two giveaways were done right here on YouTube, and I also want to say that if you join the VIP club 
before April 1st, I will be doing an April giveaway in the VIP club. Every single VIP club member who joins before April 1st, everybody who's been joined for the last couple of months, or if you want to join over the next couple of days before the 1st of April, you're automatically going to get entered. And if you win, you end up winning. You don't have to do anything. All it takes is just simply become a VIP club member. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Or you can hit the subscribe button like a Karen hits another Karen. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products t shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin, which, by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. What are your thoughts on the spot price of silver today? Creeping down below the $25 mark. I'm talking about the spot price, not the premium. By the way, I think I thought of a new way to calculate it or a new way to refer to what we're actually converting our dollars into when it comes to the silver and the gold. It's not spot price, it's not premium. I'm calling it stack price. It's whatever spot price is, plus about $5. That's stack price. What's the stack price of silver? Well, today, it would be about $29.89. But head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. With a day of silver, once again, in the red, are you capitalizing on the opportunity? Are you going to be visiting your local coin shop today or this weekend? Or maybe you did over the last couple of days. If so, what did you end up getting? Or if you plan on going, what do you plan on getting? For me, pretty much the only thing I get from the local coin shop is 90%. Most often, Washington quarters. Simple, easy, pretty boring, not going to lie, but boring works. Boring makes sense. Boring, oftentimes, is better. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Once again, congratulations to the two winners. Stay tuned for the next one. And of course, I have one going to be going on over the next couple of days in the VIP club. Link in the description if you want to join. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.